Hey guys, and welcome back to Gunshots. This week brought to you from my backyard. <laughs> so, um, as promised, I am doing the um, short series of reviews based on guns that are in my gun cabinet right now. <laughs> Called, let's call it the Coronavirus Crew. Um, and this week I'm taking a look at a Remington 1187. Um, this 1187 Premier I picked up quite a few years back now for 200 quid. <clears throat> it eats no meat, it lives in my cabinet, it occasionally gets brought out to use as a coaching gun because it's only got a 14 inch length of pull, it's too short for me. But the reason I bought it was because it was my dream gun when I was 14. When I first started clay shooting there was a guy at the club had one of these and I thought it was the absolute bee's knees. Um, I couldn't afford one at the time and I ended up buying a Beretta A302. Um, but I never liked it, I always wanted one of these. <laughs> and when I got back into shooting I decided, right, I'm having one. I haven't shot it much. Um, it's actually in reasonable nick. It's been quite reasonably well looked after. I've done a bit of work on it, done some refurb and stuff. Um, got some parts from Brownells um, and sort of fitted them and uh, tweaked up a couple of um, issues that were it had. But other than that, um, it's grand. Let's talk about the oily bits. 27 inch barrel, 18.4 board, three inch chamber, uh, seven mil top rib, We've got a steel mid bead and a white front bead. It is a multi chug. Um, you can definitely get barrels for these in a variety of lengths. I've seen a lot on Gun Trader skeet barrels. Um, this was really popular as a skeet gun, um, so it's um, and, and I can attest it. It does shoot skeet very well. It's well balanced. It swings nicely. Um, it's quite a nice gun for skeet. Um, the forend is obviously quite robust. It's um, it's a big fella because it's got a gas system inside it, and it's an older gas system. I'll show you in a sec. Um, it is, um, the checkering is actually quite sharp, gives good grip, the wood is wood, it's, it's floorboards to be honest, it's, um, it's well lacquered and whatever but it's just the plainest bit of whatever. Uh, the checkering is obviously machine cut but it's still quite sharp. Coming back to the action, it's very very elegant shape, I just think as shotguns go, um, certainly semi-autos of a period from 1967 when the 1100 um, came out, I think it's very elegant, it just looks well. Obviously it doesn't fit, I'm having to sort of shorten my shoulder here to get it to mount. Um, the trigger is, eh, it's okay, it's a semi-auto, it's, it's fine. Um, the 1187 actually um, replaced the 1100 in 1987. I'll show you the difference in a sec when I take the fore end off, but basically the, um, the, old, the newer gun has a slightly different sort of modification to the gas system which makes it less fussy with ammo. Um, the lifter and uh, Bolt release are all in one under here, um, and basically that must be depressed for subsequent shots. Normally, people tend to sort of take their second shell and use that to push the button when they push it in. Also, under here, we've got a little button which must be pressed on the side of the uh, the action if you're taking the bolt out. Um, and obviously, the uh, operating handle just pops out. Uh, coming back to the um, pistol grip, nice shape, um, no palm swell at all, very straight, no cast. Uh, 3555 comb, just very straight. I mean, anyone can shoot this, um, which again, which is what makes it ideal for being a coaching gun. The gas system, if we whip the front nut off, is obviously of an older vintage because it's a bit more complicated. There, you see this spring, by the way, here. This is what makes the gun a bit less fussy. This allows gases from the sort of three inch uh, shells to bleed off, which means you can also shoot the sort of two and three quarters. If we just pop that out, there you go, we can see now the two-part piston and then there's an O-ring um, which forms the uh, the piston which then drives this uh, which has got a little action bar that goes back to the bolt. Um, basically these are the parts that are replaced. You can get a kit off Brownells for, for pennies. It's not, it's not fortune, it's like 12 quid um, and refurb the gun. This is obviously limited to uh, two in the magazine. Uh, to shoot, it's very soft. Um, it's got a nice balance, a nice swing. Um, there's nothing bad to say about it. It's a little bit fussier, I think, with ammo than modern guns. But, I don't know, man. This versus, I guess, an Armsan A612 or a, um, a Hatsan Escort. For 300 quid for one of those new with a warranty, yeah, fair enough. Or you could pay 200 quid for one of these with just a bit of history and, you know, look at it. It looks great, right? Um, I don't know. I like this thing. 
it's sat in my cabinet, like I said, I don't use it, but it has a certain nostalgia for me, and that's why I own it. Um, I just think they're pretty, and it's my gun, I get to do that. Uh, would I recommend you get one? Entirely up to you. I think if you know what you're getting into, again, with an older gun, uh, you know you're going to have to look after it, and it may need some uh, maintenance, but there are plenty of them around, and I think these are actually still made in a slightly different guise. Um, Remington went out of business a little while back, and I think went into administration, but were taken over, and these guns are still made. There are, it's a sort of a horrible carbon fiber plastic furniture one with a, with a steel receiver, um, kind of silver, um, but they are still kicking about. Um, and still well loved. I mean, I, I, I put an Instagram post about this gun on, and it, bang, millions of likes straight away. Um, these are obviously still well regarded. Um, and with good reason, I think it's a cracking little tool. <clears throat> so, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I hope you are all safe and well. The channel is as ever supported by Bio Shooting Ground, Hull Cartridge, The Confidence to Win, and Mac White Gloves, All Grip, No Slip. Um, as ever, please subscribe if you enjoy the, ch the content. Uh, drop me a like, give me a comment below. Um, I look forward to reading what you all guys say all the time, so um, I do enjoy it. Do please comment and um, subscribe as ever. It's been great talking to you and I will see you next time. Take care.